The glory of the Adriatic and my home to which I will return after long years of voyaging. I think of it now and think, as always, of my son Marco, and how he must have grown in my absence. I wondered, does he think of me from time to time? Excuse me! Pardon me! Coming through! Sorry! Sorry! Excuse me! Pardon me! Sorry! Coming through! Isn't that Niccolo Polo's boy? Yes, that's Marco. Very sad to hear his mother passed away. Well, good thing Niccolo returns today. That boy needs his father to look after him. If your tummy's feeling lonely, fill it up with pepperoni, mascarpone, and bologna. Uh oh, a black cat! I sure don't want any bad luck around my glassware. Go away! Luigi! 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 Marco, you're just in time for breakfast. Luigi, my father's ship is arriving in port. Come on! His father's ship? His father's ship! Ha! Amazing! Mama, Marco's father is back! Nicolo Polo has returned from somewhere! Marco, wait for me! Hurry up! Uno! Due! We have loads to do! <laughs> Marco! Come on, we're hot. Come on, over here. Come on. Marco, I can't run that fast. I didn't have breakfast yet. Ow! Father? Father! Father? Father! Father, is that you? No, I'm the captain. Who are you? Disobedience. Such rowdy behavior and disrespect. Hey. Boarding a ship without permission? Am I right, Captain? I don't recall allowing you to come on board either, Mr. Refusio. I am Refusio Popo, the business partner of Niccolo Polo. I don't need your permission to supervise the unloading of my goods from the quayside. Wait, these things belong to my father. They would if he were here to collect them, young Marco Polo. But he's not, and I am. Ah! Oops, sorry. <clears throat> you are Marco Polo, Niccolo's son? Yes, I am. You are more than welcome aboard my ship, Marco. But I'm sorry to tell you that your father is not here. What do you mean? He's not here? He didn't come back? Nicolo Polo stayed behind Marco. Maybe he's in China now. China? I don't know. 
He told me to give this to you. <laughs> he did? What is this? It is his travel diary. Maybe you will find the answer in there. No! No! <laughs> You are to go home immediately, Marco Polo! And don't think this impertinence will go unpunished! Yes, sir. <laughs> Marco? Venice disappears into the mist behind me as we sail out of the lagoon. And I wonder, will I ever see her again? Just put the crate down over there, Uno. Do it! You fetch the rest of the stuff. Pronto! Mr. Refuzio, what are you doing here? What am I doing? Well, I am just unpacking. Here? But this is my father's house. Ah, yes. Your father, Nicolo Polo. The great explorer, the famous adventurer, the one whose name everybody knows. Unlike Signor Rafusio Popo, Nicolo's boring stay-at-home partner, banker, babysitter. But that was your agreement. My father went abroad and traded, and you looked after his affairs until he came back. Then tell me, Mr. Marco Know-It-All Polo, what was our agreement if he didn't come back, hmm? Well, uh... If he didn't return, then everything he owned would go to me. <laughs> everything! This house, these goods, this stupid diary! No! And of course, his child. Do you have any idea, Marco, how tiresome it is playing guardian, waiting for you to grow up? Guardian? I don't need a guardian. I can look after myself. You can? Good. That will make things much easier. Hey, let go! At least give me back my father's diary. Say please. Please? No. <laughs> what a creep. What a creep! Is something wrong <sighs> with your soup, Marco? I'm just not hungry. Oh, well, can I have it? Luigi! Marco's father did not come home today. How would you feel? Would you be hungry? I guess not. I'm sorry, Marco. But don't worry, I have a plan! <laughs> You move in with us and learn everything there is to know about making glass and cooking. And when you're old enough, you marry one of my sisters. <laughs> <laughs> then we can really be brothers. I have a better plan. <laughs> you do? Yes, I do. Uh. Ever. The very worst. Shush.
further, Marco. Okay, then you wait here. I'll find my father's diary and be back in five minutes, all right? Oh, Marco, wait for me! can't find his way home, the other can't stay away. But I'll fix that. Lock him in the cellar, and tomorrow we'll ship him to Judeca. <laughs> and you, can you swim? Yes. Pity. He means you, Fufu. <laughs> La Judeca. <gasps> yes, poor Marco. <gasps> ah, the spooky, freaky, whatever. Stop it! Stop it, please. Leave him alone. He's just a baby. Ah! The ghost! Ghost? Oh, no, Luigi. She's not a ghost. She looks more like... like a little princess. <gasps> a princess? Are you sure? Yes. In fact, that is what I am. Isn't it obvious? 
So why are you here, your highness? You may call me Sheila. I'm here because I have to find your friend. He has something I need. He has? Yes. Where are they taking him? To La Judeca. La Judeca is a prison island in the Venice Lagoon. It looks like a big, ugly fish and gets its name from the word judicato, which means judge. A garrison of soldiers keep watch over the criminals. Bad children are sent to this island, too, but it is also where they send orphans, children with no parents. I know what an orphan is. But that's not going to happen to Marco because I have a plan to save him. You do? Yes! No. Marco's the one with the ideas. I like to stay home and eat. And you make beautiful glass. Luigi is a glass maker. It's in the family. But my dream is to be a cook. Well, I have to go back to China. This is lovely. Did you make this? Yes, with my own hands. Why? Do you think it could float? I may have an idea. Somebody left a boat. How convenient. You won't get away with this. Whoa! Oh, please. Ah. Ah. You are a badly behaved child with no parents. Who belongs with other badly behaved children with no parents? Ah. Whoa. Uno, you donkey, be careful! a nice boat trip uh. early in the morning, don't you? Uh. Luigi? Uno, you melon head! We're in the wrong canal! Marco! Uh. Over here! Luigi! Stop him! Oh, be careful! Gotcha! China. We've met before. You've got something that belongs to me. Oh, and by the way, thank you for rescuing me, Sheila. Hey, no problem, Marco. 
You're welcome. You've got something I need. Uh-oh, there's no time for this. Look! Uh-oh. We have to hide. Quick, over there! Ah! Too many crates. I have a bad feeling about this. We need a place to hide, now! something to you. This is Venice, and this is China, and this is everything in between. Ghosts, weirdos, unknown lands, bandits, thieves, wild animals, pirates, villains, robbers, and who knows what else! Understand? Sounds exciting. Sheila, nice to meet you. Marco, Marco Polo. No one's listening to me. Earthquake! See? We're in danger already! <laughs> no, Luigi. We're on an adventure. Yeah! What's going on? Marco, where are we going? Over the horizon, Luigi. Just over the horizon. <laughs> <laughs> 